Moving here was a big culture shock and I came from a big medical center at Fort Hood, Texas. I worked in the emergency department there, which is the busiest emergency room in the Department of Defense worldwide. So then we moved to Enterprise, Alabama. And I will say going into it, I had the attitude of, I came from a big hospital and now I'm in this little town with three nurses working all night and this is just gonna be boring. I quickly learned <laughs> that the smaller the hospital, the more talented the nurses are. Alabama is one of the top states for closing hospitals. They've closed nine hospitals in the last several years. The poverty rate here, there's I think 15 counties in Alabama are at 30% or greater the population living in poverty. It can make things almost impossible for some of those people. You know, I've seen moms pushing strollers down the side of a highway to walk eight miles to get to a community health clinic just for basic care. So I was hired as the director of nursing. So the first day I showed up at work, I was told that we had 28 days to become compliant with federal regulations, otherwise the hospital was going to be shut down because they would no longer be eligible for Medicare and Medicaid funding. And when 85% of your patient population is on Medicare or Medicaid, that essentially means the hospital is gonna shut down. So I was matched up with some nurses that had been there for quite some time. There was consultants, there was lawyers, and then we had the board of directors. And it was just a matter of everybody working together and developing this plan of correction to show compliance so that the hospital could remain open. With WGU, with the master's program for nursing, I actually learned a lot of things that were relevant to what was going on at that hospital. As a staff nurse, it was things that I never realized were going on behind the scenes or I hadn't had exposure to. When I got thrown into that situation, I was able to apply the stuff that I had learned, even though I didn't even know where my office was <laughs> at that point. My education definitely helped as far as being able to collaborate across a field of multiple different people when it came to that hospital. Um, so after the 28 days, the State Department of Health came back to the facility. And so once the state came back in for three days and combed over every bit of everything we had developed, they determined that we were eligible to stay open and that we could continue to receive Medicare and Medicaid funding. If it wasn't for WGU, I would not have been able to go back for my master's degree with working full-time and having small kids. Rural America is losing their health care, which is an unfortunate thing. And the people that are in the rural areas deserve access to health care just like they do in a big city. I have a sense of pride about my community in general. I didn't do anything that I've been able to accomplish by myself. It's been because of the community and the people that I live here with or the people that proved me wrong <laughs> when I moved here and, and thought that you know it was nothing, no big deal. The community here makes me wanna work for them and it makes me proud to be a part of it. And it's something that I wanna better for, for my kids.